Hello, welcome to West Anime Sims. My name is Calvin and how are you doing? We are back with another speed build this time around. I'm going to try to make a home business lot actually. I'm going to build a cat cafe in a bohemian style. Now, if you are new to West Anime Sims and you like this video, please do give me a like and subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on retro sims content. A quick update on the subscriber count. Currently, we are now at 888 subscribers. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed so far. And for uh, just a quick trivia, 888, 3 8s, it's very auspicious for Chinese culture. As Hokkien people would say, is Huala. So, yes, I will still continue on to attract more subscribers as much as possible hopefully we will reach 1000 subscribers by the end of the year and yeah let's keep this channel growing and keep the spirit of retro simming alive now back to the build um right now we are currently having a little basic layout like a two-story house already with a really brick wall texture with a really basic suburban kind of a style. I have no idea what bohemian style is. Even I search in Google, it's, it comes up with all kinds of styles. Basically, bohemian is um, in the style of a more of an indie kind, more hipster vibe to it. I remember bohemian was kind of very trendy and chic. Uh, back in the 2000s so it really makes sense that Sims 2 actually have a affinity of the bohemian aesthetic so bohemian according to google it's meaning a socially unconventional person especially the one who is involved in the arts or socially unconventional an unconventional in an artistic way so basically bohemian is more interested in artistic style it's more indie it's more relaxed kind of nature so i'm going to lean into that kind of a feel for when it comes to this build so the downstairs will be the cafe itself and with a bathroom for guests and upstairs will be the living quarters for two people so uh, we have the living dining and kitchen upstairs and also the bedroom and later on I'll split the bedroom into two to have a study sort of like an office for this home business lot and yeah and using a lot of dark colors a lot of dark wooden planks to make it more really cozy I'm lately if you have watched the dark academia style kind of a, a speed builds or renovation for uh, to be exact is I really kind of like dark colors <laughs> I kind of go for fondly with dark colors usually I use dark colors very sparingly use it once in a while for accents but dark colors really bring out the aesthetic really well yeah so I'm more on a dark color vibes now especially with Halloween just ended and now with dark academia build going on with, as an ongoing project so this bohemian style is not going to be very pastel so it's got a lot of dark color vibes to it And to make it a little bit more on the artistic side, so we have experiment with a lot of funky colors, with a lot of uh, wall paintings, and also some wall hangings and decor all over the house. So it's definitely very artsy, very. It's going to be very uh, chic, I would say, and a little bit of a retro throwback kind of a feel. So yeah, 
retro feels is always uh, right up in my alley. So it, yeah, back to why this video is kind of delayed. Um, I was away over the weekend, so I didn't get to record any videos or build anything for the, the Tuesday uh, scheduled video upload. So yeah, so sorry for that. But you know, life happens. But this, if this channel is monetized, I would be a more uh, dedicated to my time for it. Uh, but I have scheduled the next renovation build for Dark Academia, Dark Academia campus on Friday. So do check it out. It will be upload immediately quite soon right after this uh, video is uploaded it will be this Friday so any guesses what kind of build I'm going to do next please comment down in the comments below So one of the challenges of making this cafe is actually the barista machine or the counter for coffee in cafes is not available in residential areas. I was surprised I just found out this about this and I have to supplement it with like a cash, uh, little kitchen with uh, some food shelves and a coffee espresso machine to substitute like a cafe so this is pretty much uh, the downstairs cafe not a lot of seating as well I just put like two tables and chairs and then I give a lot of space for the cats with the cat condo with some pet dishes and some pet baits even I put the pet baits outside already because there are way too many things to put in into one single lot indoors
So the idea of a cat cafe wasn't very new because I've seen other simmers do it and in real life there are quite a few pet friendly cafes in Malaysia as well especially cat cafes like people let their cats to stay or they have enjoyed the meals or they have their own cats lounging around the area it's pretty cozy and pretty uh, nice uh, novelty to it to the cafe which is pretty nice and this kind of a pet friendly build is kind of a mashup of uh, open for business and pets which is a really good combo and I lean in for the bohemian style which is from the sims 2 free time so yeah quite a lot of mix and match of uh, packs going on I never uh, be limited to any sort of packs which pack I'm going to use or um, anything like that because in fact I find it a bit too limiting I will just let my creative creativity run loose and whatever fits fits <laughs> just throw everything in As for landscaping, I'm going to keep it a bit very simple with uh, fencing. With, I want to try to use the ones with the flowers on the fence. I rarely try to do that because it looks really um, tacky to me. But this for this house, I'm making an exception because I'm going to fill it up with a lot of decor that have a lot of plants hanging around to fill up the space to make it more homely and cozy. For use some trees and bushes and I planted a lot of sunflowers all around the house to get, make it a little bit more cheerful and vibrant look. Alright, we're reaching the end of our speed build of a Bohemian Cat Cafe. What do you guys think? Please leave the comments down below and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to West Anime Sims for more updates on Retro Sims content. The link to download this build and also the screenshots will be down in the description below as well as my socials page which is Instagram and Tumblr. Please do give these channels a follow. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye!